Good morning everyone and welcome to Built and Val's Allotments. Now it's a bit of a good, the bad and the ugly here on plot two. Um, so let's start off with the bad. Uh, the long bed, sadly, not had anything done to it. Plenty of weeds going on in there. Hadn't bothered to do the day. Um, daffodils I'm afraid. Um, but I will get to clear it eventually when I'm feeling a little better. Now, long bed all the way along here, you know, is dahlias and some of them are just starting to come through now. Um, strawberries here, we've got marshmallows, so we've got three years worth here. So this is the third year, that is the second year and that is the third year. And hopefully we're going to get a good crop of this third year here. Uh, Malwina in here, as you can see, the lovely, lovely first flower there and they're a little bit early they're not supposed to be until later after the marshmallow but obviously they'll do as they please um, and sweet williams looking fantastic there i hope everyone else is that decided to give those a go around about the same there as those um, so we've got the norfolk green turnip in here and we've got the uh cardiel beets in there and as you know they were group planted so they're looking fine same basic scenario up here so we've got the malwina again flowering um so who knows and uh, sweet williams and in here we've got the first crop of pongos that have gone in apologies for the shadow there uh first crop of pongos that have gone in um small batch to start off with and then as you know we beef it up a bit I uh, haven't done the boys' hats yet. That's going to have to be um, next week because they are basically bursting. So we'll get that sorted. Um, here's one of the um, bads. Good, bad, ugly. Ugly, maybe. Um, rosemary didn't make it through the winter. Just died. Bless it. It happens. Uh, <laughs> but hey, never mind. Not sure if I'm going to get another rosemary um, because I, I grew this from a stick. Um, and obviously done the old, um, whatever you call that thing, where you just cut it and make it a ball at the top. Um, I don't know whether I'm going to bother again, because there's quite a lot of rosemary on the plot, and people don't mind, mind you cutting a few sprigs now and again. Um, down here, blueberries, all starting to get plenty of leaf on. They are looking fine, and hopefully we get a crop this year. Um, in here we've got the African, um, no, Peruvian, sorry, Peruvian lily. Uh, that was in a pot, now it's in a bigger pot and it's doing fine. Nothing in here. I'm still waiting for Chris to give me the whiter version of that. The Buffia, apologies for the wind. Buffia tricolour, all coming back to life. And that, as you know, is the lovely orange um, dahlia that we've got. Um, Bedwise here, this is ready now for the cucumber as soon as it is ready to go in. Bill has just recently potted them on. Uh, this bed is going to be for the um, sugar baby watermelon, if we manage to get one. Uh, we've got 10 blue peas on this side. They have been in for a week or so and they're looking fine. Uh, this bed here is going to be for the uh, baked potato squash. Um, what Bill's going to do on this side, no idea. Here, now here is our parsnip bed. Um, now, the first bit that we did was obviously this one here uh, which was I'll just get this tag out so I can see uh, palace f1 parsnip in there and if you have a close look uh, there isn't anything nothing at all yet come through on the palace f1 um, now these are the ones that Bill did in the root trainers and this one is uh, the Guernsey uh, as you can see there is in some of them a bit of life he has planted them all um, he's just you know hoping and praying that it will all come up and that leaves um, the um, the, the chitted ones um, pre chitted ones in the bag that we're going to have a look um, when we go over to the greenhouse on plot one um, in this one we have got uh, these are purple bodied peas and they have been in the same time as the Kent blue and again not sure what Bill's deciding on there. Uh, on the wall here we've got the um, Hanoi strawberries, they all survived, lovely. On along the bottom it is uh, marshmallow because um, at the moment they are our favourite marshmallow in there as well. 
kept the parsley over winter to see if it would actually survive and it looks pretty much like it has so um, we'll see how that bushes up um, over the year and that'll be fab so it's going through all that drama um, <laughs> every year and in the two end pots I've left um, a few seeds of the um, blue pepe to see whether or not they'll come through who knows right in here we have got the grano violetto um, let's see if we can find um, one we've got some pods on there we go so hopefully you can see that uh, pods are coming in abundantly flowered looking fab keeping up the netting like we've done on plot one for the um, the other wild beans because of the wind here it's always just best to What's going in here should be the um, Uchikuri squash and Bill's hoping to obviously grow it up on there. Uh, along here we have got um, some mini dahlias in there, sorry about the shadow. Um, and it looks very much like the old peonies are going to uh, flower again, which would be great. And obviously I've got pots of chives everywhere, they're mainly for the greenhouses. Um, but hopefully they'll remember this time. So we've got um, Corisco. Uh, garlic in here and uh, also in here now, I lost a couple from the birds pulling them out here because I wasn't quick enough to put a cover on so my own fault there uh, lovely um, what's it called now honeysuckle yes thank you for reminding me um, and another another bad we've had uh, another failure on a herb the um, foxley thyme seems to have died chives again are okay uh, chocolate mint Bill's favourites wonderful um, clem clematis I uh, didn't prune it. Um, I don't think it'll make a lot of difference this year. Uh, it might grow a little bit taller by the looks of it. Um, lovely purple one, so quite happy just to leave it to see what happens. Uh, common mint coming along. Russian tarragons coming along as usual. It's a bit of a thug, that one. And another passing away of sage. Um, so the old herbs didn't do this uh, well this year. Um, obviously, they didn't like that um, temperature three degrees <laughs> that it went down to um so here's the lovely fruit collection that was uh, sent to us um david sent these to us they're in their first pot um which is obviously a small one for the first year we're not going to let them fruit even though they have got flowers on um and next year they'll be transferred into their permanent size pot which will be um a two foot one uh, but otherwise they're looking fine um figs starting to come back to life very very slowly we did give it a really good pruning so we're not expecting much um, and it may even get taken out at the end of this season not sure yet uh, pelagoniums um, they will come through again survive the winter absolutely no problem whatsoever um, we didn't take any cuttings this year purely because we we had issues and just couldn't get to it simple as that um, Edelweiss in the corner there, still going strong. And Olive. Um, these are the old leaves, they haven't fallen off for some weird reason, I don't know why. And it's just getting new ones now. Uh, roses over here, we've had one loss, which is the white one, right there, died. Um, but as you know, we've got a new one there, which is the um, strawberries and cream, given to us by um, our plot holders next door. Um, now these here are alpine strawberries, um, they've never done very well, they were originally along the top of the nook, um, I kept them just to see if they'd do any better down here but they haven't so I'll be whipping those out. Round to Rusty Russet, um, had a really really good prune uh, last year, Method of pink in it. Um, got a few flowers on it this year, more than last so hopefully we might get some fruit. We don't have any problem looking after them, making them look gorgeous, but it's keeping the fruit on and then actually having some is the problem here. Right, so irises. Now it looks like we've got 100% come through, still survived, which is fab. We've got some which have got um, flowers on. So when they come through, I'll show you those. Apologies to the weeds, as you know, I've been uh, having trouble getting down that far. <laughs> Um, and then mine. And we're sticking nettles are ready for me to cut to make some feed, which is what I will be doing um, next week. And finally, on plot two, into the greenhouse. Now, it's um, quite nice and tidy in here, which is always good. Now, these are the um, half pint peas. Uh, they're just starting to 
fatten up uh, there's still a few flowers on there um, but they're just starting to fatten up so we should have a crop of those which would be lovely um, we've got the cidra I believe yum blah, blah, blah. yeah cidra carrots uh, that Bill sowed a little while ago they're coming through nicely now um, <clears throat> Bill hasn't left a tag in I can't remember marigolds yes so a nice tray of marigolds there uh, they are for underneath the roses, and there's a few more there. Uh, Marshall and strawberries, got them here, coming through. There we go, so hopefully a, a couple of early ones in there. And this lovely, lovely uh, Moodalia, which I'm not 100% sure where it's going to go yet. Um, but um, I'll let you know, and then I'll tell you who actually sent it to me, because I've forgotten! It happened. Right. <laughs> Two more pots of uh, carrots here. These are the Touchon. You saw us sow those a while ago. They're looking fab. And I've just put these up here. What I was going to do is actually make a wire um, wing to support all their um, their tops. But again, the time's got away with me. So simple as that. Um, down in here, it's the uh, Perceiver um, carrots. And they're the little ball ones, so they look fine. Lovely, lovely bucket of, or bowl, shall I say, of lettuce, um, which I need to harvest some today and thin that out a bit. So a lot of that is just ready to eat, which is fab. Uh, cucumber wise, these are the ones that Bill's recently potted on. So we've got pony cucumber and la diva. Uh, the pony will be going into the greenhouse and the la diva will be going outside. So that is it on plot two. Um, that little internal greenhouse I'll tell you what that's all about um, in the next couple of weeks but for the moment we're gonna whiz over now to plot one and catch up with Bill we'll see you in a minute Hi, right, hello Bill hello. I've left you alone today yeah and I did a quick plot tour which I'm sure you'll watch and go yeah that was quick yeah, <laughs> but you've been busy in here but first of all i'd like to show you some goodies from the greenhouse and i've got to show you these guys uh we have some uh rainbow radish lovely now the other radish the french breakfast they were awful <laughs> they I were didn't, I didn't bill didn't pull didn't pull them and they just went very very long i do have a picture and i'll show that sometime and a bit of lettuce not a huge amount just enough for a sanger. That'll do nice. Right, now, catch up with these parsnips because I did make reference to it when I was doing the old round no, the other, not over very the good road. Not very good. No, so these are the ones that we put in the bag to chitch as recommended by. Who was it? I can't remember. Uh, Mark? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, so what are we looking for? Little chips aren't there. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, oh, there they oh. are. They've got little white bits on them. Oh, Some oh, of them. Oh, oh. I'll have to pop these up. Okay. I'll, I'll do that in a minute. Alright, so there are so, there's yeah, something. See, see the root there? No, no, no. Not. Right there. Ooh. Yes, I see it. I see, see it. it. Right? Yes, yes. Good pointing. Yeah. Nice. Yeah, yeah there's, there's two, I did see the other day two or three. Lovely. But I think it's a lot of fuss. Myself. Well, how I long have they been in that bag, Bill, to be quite honest? About, about five weeks. <laughs> <laughs> it's taken a while. It's still damp. It's, yes, it's still, that is a good thing. You haven't yeah. had to touch it in no, any way. So that's okay. Right, so you're going to bung those yeah, in? Yeah, I'll, I'll do those in a minute. Luckily, you can see that they are yeah. actually seeds. Yeah. So where am I going with my camera? Just go here first. Here, here. I'm here. We have done this um, on last week's vlog. Did we do, oh, right, we've done this. Yeah, it's what you've done today. What I've done today. <laughs> what I've done today, yes. I've put it on Sunset Orange. They were from Serene. Sandrine. Just, Sandrine, I've got four. Four Sunset Orange cauliflowers. There's four Zen Calabrese. Four Zen, so they were on last week's as well. Brought no. another pepper because yeah. I broke the other one. Yeah, the other one might come, but. Just in, case. One, just in case. All right, so I've cost him an extra two quid this year, guys. Blenheim orange. <laughs> yep. I've done two lots of those. All right, Blenheim orange. Now these are for in here as usual. Yep. Hopefully, get it right this time. Itch curry. Itch curry over the road. And two. baked potato for baked over the road. Baked potato for over the road. Lovely. These are from Trisha. Trisha. I think it's Trisha. 
Is it Aunt Teresa? Teresa. These are Dad's Sunset. Yes, that's this I've, tomato. I've got, that yeah, I've got four of those. Weeks. Dr. Caroline, they come from Alan. Yes. Um, Cocktail Crush. Yeah, all of these were on last week. Two green, two green zebra. Yes, with you, individual marks, with, so we get So one. I don't give them away this time. <laughs> Shirley um, and, Co and Crimson Crush. Fantastic. I've done some Swede invitation. Invitation Swede. Now they were lovely. Let's hope we get some more and it doesn't rot off. Melon, Lunaville, they're from Sandrine. Yes, so that's going to be the melon that goes in plot two greenhouse. Sugar Baby. Sugar Baby, as I said, is going to be on the plot itself. And, and Minnesota Midget, that is from Teresa as well, isn't it? I'm sure it's Trisha, don't I? Trisha, I'll, I'll Trisha. put your name on the screen, my darling. And Monaco F1 will come up. Yeah. And the Red Drumhead will come up. Savoia just starting to come up. Lovely. Now, yeah. the Minnesota Midgets, there. Now, I've got a little mini greenhouse, Bill Adam and I, in the, yeah. um, in the other greenhouse on plot two and that is where we're going to do one minnesota midget because they are only supposed to grow a maximum of four foot high yep. with fruits which are four inches round yep. so the reason for putting them inside the a greenhouse inside a greenhouse is to stop them from being cross-pollinated because we want to try and keep the seed yeah we want to keep the seed of that one and we want to keep the seed of the uh uh Lunaville, yeah, which is the French. So one. we need to keep them uh, separate until all the flowers are spent, and then we can take them, take the obviously the um, the greenhouse bitty off. Um, but that is what that is for. So that's a nice, interesting experiment to see if it can be done. Yeah, that's what I'm hoping. Anyway. Anything else to report this week, Bill? No, nope, nothing. nothing at all. Okay, um, well, yeah. I'm going to let you get on with your yeah. um, planting of these um, yeah, chitted. I'll, I'll Parsnips, and if you can do the usuals for me, please. I'd like to say thank you very much for your comments, your thumbs up, and I'd like to say hello to the new and old subscribers. And all being well, we'll see you again next week. We will have a lovely week. Yeah, take care, everyone. Bye. Bye bye. <laughs>